Hi everybody, how are you? So before uh, going to work on the build this application, I forgot that I, we, we need also to add the translations and the language switcher because we wanted that our app has multiple language support, okay? So to add uh, more language support, what we need to do is to come here in the folder internationalization and in the file index.js and we need to add here the the other translation files that we that we want to support so here we are going to create another folder for Portuguese I'm going to use the Portuguese from Brazil and we also need a folder for Spanish from Spain okay I'm going to create here a file index.js and here for Portuguese the index.js okay so now I'm going to copy this file content and paste it in the new files and I will simply start to work on the translation. So I will pause the video because I think you don't need to know about how to translate the text. Okay? I will go in to come back in in just a few minutes. So I translated the text here in the files. Now I need to come here in the file index GS and I need to import the new translation files. So I am going to import the PT, oops, PTBR from the folder PTBR I'm going to export import the file from for Spanish from the folder ESES and I'm going to export these translation files okay go to import the PTBR here the PTBR, here the same thing, ES, ES, and ES, ES, okay. And now we can try if everything is okay by coming here in the boot file for internationalization and change the language to another one by example ptbr and let's run the application with quasar dev and let's check if everything is okay so it is going to run hmm. something something is wrong let's go and check What is wrong? Mm, let me check, I will come back in a few seconds. It was a very simple mistake here. I I write wrong. It is BR, not BT. Now it is going to work. Okay. Here we I think we also need to translate this text. It is not translated. So we can come here in the file layout and let me search where it is. I think it is here. Okay, see our notes. Okay. I'm going to use the home for every language. I think it is clear enough. And here I am going to and the translation, I think it is this, the T, and here we can add, here is the layout, dot home, dot caption, okay, so let's 
go in here in the translations file layout home caption or English is going to be the C oh, your notes now I need to copy this to this other language files and translate it Let's check if it is working. It isn't working. Let's check what is wrong. Hmm. Okay, let me check what is wrong. So I don't know how to have access access to the translation function because here I am using this but I am not inside an object so I can't access to this. So what I'm going to do is to leave here the translation key, okay? And I'm going to come here in the essential link component. And I'm going to put the caption as my key for translation. It, it should work. Okay, it is working. Nice, it is working also here. So in the next video we can start start to working in the language switcher. Okay? Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.